Phil, back at the race course this weekend after Tuesday night's defeat against Chesterfield. How's preparation been for this one? Yeah, it's been okay. You know, we were disappointed after Tuesday. Um, you know, and it's important that we play in a manner which you know our supporters expect. And it's not the same in the last few games. We haven't played with commitment and um, an energy, but we haven't been effective enough in, in our play. And um, you know, we've got to make sure we get back to that. And that's what I'm looking for tomorrow: a performance where we're stepping on the things, we're looking forward, uh, we're being positive. This is a place to. But space to step into with the ball, we're stepping into it. Um, you know, we're putting decent deliveries in the box, and we've got a real desire to get on the end of things when it goes in the box. And you know, that's been the hallmark of, of our performances. Um, you know, certainly at the race course, where there's a mixture of you know, if teams sit off, and we have to be patient. Yeah, we have to do that. But equally, you know, there's a dynamic feel about the team and a, and a real energy. And um, you know, I want to see us looking forward early. Um, really looking to get Mason on the back foot and like I've said since day one that any team which comes to play against us you know at the race course we've got to put them under pressure and that's what I want to see tomorrow. You mentioned the race course there and the, the things that you've seen from the games already there's no better place to put that into action than this weekend or Saturday. That's right this the race course has got to be a difficult place for the opposition to play. I don't want teams to come here and enjoy playing. We've only had one game. The Eastleigh game was, a, as we've, all, we've said already, it was a bitty game in terms of for, for, for certain reasons. Um, but you know, second home game of the season. You know, I want to see a real energy and dynamic feel to the team. Um, and when that ball goes in the opposition penalty area, I want to see a, a real desire to get on the end of things. Uh, and make sure that come the end of the game that the opposition goalkeeper has had to work hard the, the back four or five whatever they play has been put under pressure and, and that's what we've done and um, we'll continue to do so well here at the race course and I'm looking forward to seeing us implementing that tomorrow. They mentioned Maystone there, newly promoted side into the National League after their short absence, what do you expect to see from them? Well what we've seen so far is a team which um, is attack minded so I feel this will be a um, Entertaining game more than the Eastley one, where obviously you know we know that the, the way Eastley approached the game. But what I've seen of them, that they kind of um, yeah, quite uh, cavalier in their approach and the way they set the team up, and that's got them into into the division. And it looks like they're they're going to play that way, um, you know, th through through the season. So yeah, we look forward to to the challenge that brings. But equally, you know, it's about us kind of finding solutions to. Certainly, the last couple of games were um, a lot of the build-up play and between the both boxes has been decent. Um, but the game is one of lost in the, in both boxes, and and that's what we've been speaking to the lads about um, over the last couple of days. It's um, you know how do we get back to come up, um, off the pitch and say Phew, you know the keepers had a great game for them, or you know we've really put the team under pressure. And if we do that and they defend incredibly well and we, we don't get the goals, then we've got to accept that. But you know, we feel in, in the last couple of games, certainly, that we haven't been effective in the way Wrexham can play. And we will be back to that tomorrow. It's been a couple of rotations in the early games, obviously the conditions last Saturday. How yeah. that's been shaping up in the last few days? Yeah, no, they're fine. I think, like I said, early in the season, with a few players who are playing catch up, we know that, you know, we've spoke about Elliot before, you know, Bryce and, and, and players like that who, who missed chunks of pre-season. So we know that, but listen, um, the team is selected tomorrow and, and the ones in the team, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing them play and, um, you know, we've got a decent squad. Um, everyone is getting to where they need to be now and, um, you know, we've got to put a real marker down tomorrow with the manner of our display.